This morning, UPDF officers, together with some security operatives, were seen picking up the pieces of what had remained at the compound. They jumped onto a waiting pickup truck and left the house under KCCA law enforcement officers. A few minutes later, the security minister arrived and officially handed over the house to KCCA officials. The time we've been here, we have done a very good job. We are quite grateful to the KCCA that we have been allowed to do this job in their premises for the one or two odd years that we've been here. Fortunately, we have relocated to another place uh, where the coordination is taking place. We are indeed now very happy to hand over the house to the rightful owners, the KCCA. And uh, here, here is the key <laughs> to the house. Very glad. The house at the center of controversy is the official mayoral residence but was given to security agencies on orders of then local government minister Kahindo Tafiri who cited security reasons for the giveaway. We are very grateful, KCC is very grateful um, for, to resolve this issue peacefully and uh, as an authority we will make a decision, we will sit and assess the situation of the house and the accounting office uh, will determine the use uh, of this house. Recently, the Presidential Affairs Committee of Parliament threatened to block the passing of the country's security budget until General Tinyo Funza hands over the house. Barnabas Tinkasimire, the chair of the committee, who was also present at the handover, said Parliament will now reconsider its earlier position. Uh, on my part, for sure, I want to thank the Honorable Minister and uh, his uh, entire team for recognizing that uh, civilian authority is above military authority. <laughs> so I can assure the Honorable Minister that uh, the caveat on your budget has been removed. <laughs> and I only ask you that uh, next time, please ask your officers to behave to enable all government departments to function properly <laughs> without their interference. General Tinyo Funza has been occupying this house since 2008. Today, he has given back the house to KCCA after pressure from Parliament. In turn, Parliament promises to pass the security budget. Michael Baleke, NTV, in Kololo.